Hi, I'm Steve Adams and welcome to Boat Show TV. We've made our way through the show to meet what I suppose would be two kind of mad marines really. I've got with me Chris and Brian. Now you guys can be doing something a bit crazy for the next 24 hours. The clue is behind us. Brian, what are you going to be doing? Uh, we're going to be getting in this tank and uh, we're going to be cycling underwater for 24 hours. Sort of hour about each, looking to hopefully break the world record. So what is the current world record? Uh, there isn't one, so we're going to create it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, brilliant. So whatever you do, you're going to have a world record. Okay, fantastic. Chris, whose idea was this? Uh, this was mine, unfortunately, and, uh, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, I did it a couple of years ago uh, in a lake for eight hours just to see how it worked, and we achieved about 60 miles in that eight hours. So we know that it's an achievable target at the end of the day. So let me just get this straight. You just went to a random lake with a push bike and, and sunk it down? Basically, yeah. <laughs> we did make it a charity event then, uh, and we did help for Heroes then and the Royal Marines Association then. So uh, it was uh, entertaining, to say the least. So Brian, is it? Uh, talk us through uh, what you're raising the money for, um, for for this attempt as well. This attempt is for the Royal Marines Association, so it's quite close to both our hearts being former Royal Marines ourselves. Um, so with all, all the boys being away now, especially with 40 Commando on up Herrick now, so it's quite quite poignant to us. So hopefully we'll raise lots of money for for the Royal Marines Association. Let's talk a bit about the technicalities of doing this. Um, I've done a bit of cycling myself, but there's a bit of drag, surely, that's going to be on in that tank. It can't be easy. It's not just the drag, it's the buoyancy. Because if you ride a bike out here in the normal roads, as you would, your body weight is affected by gravity. When you get in the tank, there is no gravity as such because you're very buoyant. So you either have to tie your feet to the pedals or weight your body down excessively to stay on the seat. Because the more you push on the pedals, the more you come off the seat. So w what method have you gone for? A lot of weight to keep me down anyway. So far <laughs> we've seen them use a lot of, lot of weights. We've used all the weights to keep us down there at the moment. So um, it's proven quite tough. <laughs> and so how are you working this 24 hours between you? Are you just going to see how it goes and just kind of wave and say I'm tired? Or are you going to be a bit, I'm guessing, being four Marines, you, you, you've got a plan? Yes, we have. We, we're working on about an hour each. Uh, and that's subject to the duration of each compressed air cylinder that we've got with our scuba gear. And it depends on our breathing rate. If our breathing rate goes up, then the duration gets reduced. But with both of us, we've been doing plenty of practice for that sort of thing. So hopefully we'll be about the hour, if not a little bit more. OK, so we are currently Saturday. Um, you guys are going to go in at about 12 o'clock today. And so we want to be here this time tomorrow and to see you come out. And how confident are you that you will be able to just step out and, and not collapse? I'm pretty confident. Um, might be a bit colder, but... Um I'm sure we'll be there, I'm sure we'll be pretty tired, but yeah, I'm sure we'll be coming out. Well, good luck. It's for a, a great cause, and uh, you two look healthy. I'm just, it's going to be fantastic. So I'm looking forward to seeing you when you come out, and we'll come and wave at you through the glass at some point, I'm sure. Yeah. Thanks as well. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.